it's my great pleasure and honor to be here because uh, Peter Walter uh, delivered us a beautiful lecture on unfold potent response. So I'd like to start my talk by introducing you uh, chaperones who went uh, with young, young unmarried woman to the social events in order to make sure that she behaved properly. So, okay. Proteins also need chaperones for their maturations. When proteins synthesize, the amino acids land up linearly, but the, the chaperone helps protein to obtain e, uh, respective uh, three-dimensional structures. However, under a variety of conditions, correctly termed ERSS, a uh, variety of physiological and pathological conditions, correctly termed ERSS, this chaperone mediated protein folding is compromised, resulting in the accumulation of unfolded protein in the ER. This is quite problematic to the cell. However, importantly, interestingly, our cells are equipped with very nice system called unfolded protein response. Because our ER has sensor molecule to detect the presence of unfolded protein in the ER, send this ER sort of signal to the nucleus. Then in a nucleus, chaperone is in a sense sleeping as a gene. Then this ER sort of signal comes into the nucleus. A drummer hit the drum to wake up chaperones. Then in, uh, when awakened an increased amount of chaperones go to the ear to help this problem. Then we can, uh, now this is a U, owing to the UPL, so we can maintain health. So this is an evolution, evolutionary tree showing that how creatures are evolved from common ancestors. Common ancestors. Yeah. So, we are here now. First, bacteria uh, showed up, and it, of course it has a DNA, but it has no compartment inside. Then, E cell showed up. Then this is highly useful because they, they gave us this, our favorites. And this E cell is about, a uh, eukaryotic cell like a E cell is about 1,000 1, times bigger than bacteria. So, and move rigorously, uh, move around rigorously. During that movement, DNA might be damaged. So now, it, DNA is encapsulated into the compartment called the nucleus. At the same time, this ER was formed. Then, great, this great E gave Peter and I IR1, the first molecule identified in the U UPR. So here is a worm called nematode, uh, one millimeter long and containing 1,000 cells. Then this worm has two sensors, IR1 plus, plus PERC, because unlike unicellular organisms, this multicellular organism has uh, various organs which cannot escape from ERSS conditions. That's why I think it, they need to gain one more way to cope with ERSS. Mouse are mammals, as we are, and they, mouse has three sensors, Iarian, PERC, and A26. Interestingly, Iarian is to uh, take, take care of increase of chaperones in worms, as in uh, e cells. However, in mice, A26 is in charge of increase of chaperones. So we hypothesize that this switch from IR1 to A26 occurred with a formation of backbone. Then we analyze small fish we call medaka fish. You can see here a nice backbone here. Then we uh, found that this fish has three sensors, IRM, PERC, and A26, and A26 in charge of uh, increase of chaperones, as in mice. So my academic goal, number one, is reason for the switch from this IRM to A26. What is the advantage of the, uh, this changing? In here, another uh, difference uh, change during evolution. It is like sensor, number of it's like sensor in, in non-vertebrate is two, but 
uh, it's five, become five in uh, vertebrate. So academic goal two is why we need so many sensors if ER3 simply means accumulation of misfolded proteins. Crew is probably its location. This green fluorescence shows that the location of proteins. In this case, it's ATO6. ATO6 express ubiquitously that express everywhere because all cell needs chaperones. However, the sensor CREVH uh, express only in the gut and uh, liver. Yeah, this sensor oasis is expressed only in the bone. Now, this year, we discovered that what this sensor, BF2H7, is doing. Most abundant protein in the vertebrate is collagen, because collagen is a main component of bone. We have a lot of bone. Yeah? This collagen supports cell from outside of a cell. That means collagen has a triplet, uh, struct, triple helix structure. It must be folded in the ear with assistance of chaperones. Then this folded uh, collagen must go to, the, go to the outside of the cell. Protein do not swim in this ocean. Protein gets on a boat to be transported from ear to the outside. One type of collagen, so-called short-chain collagen, uh, can, can be uh, assembled into this compact structure and getting uh, this size of boat to be transported to the surface. However, the other type of collagen, so-called long-chain collagen, has its uh, diameter is 300, more than 300 nanometer. This protein cannot go into this normal size of the uh, boat what we understand, uh, found is this BBF2H7 detect the presence of this long chain collagen and then make a tanker boat to accommodate this long chain collagen. So question is uh, how this BBF2H7 sense the difference in the size? So <clears throat> now this concept of UPR has really expanded. This sensor A to six sees the structure of protein, but sensor BBF two S seven sees the length of the proteins. So, what's the mechanism of this uh, recognition? It's our academic goal three. The author, this sensor oasis, probably involved in the bone formation from its location. So, uh, our academic goal number four is to. <coughs> uh, to contribute to bone biology, there seem to be a lot of questions remain to be answer, unanswered. So from now, now, I move on to the application part. Aging is a critical problem now in worldwide. We are here, and percentage of uh, people more than 65 is keep increasing from now, from here to go up linearly. linearly. Okay. Japan is the darkest, that means oldest country in Asia. So near more than 40% of people in Japan are more than 60 years old. In 2050, I, I'll be in this category, unfortunately. But now nearly 60% of people are more than 60 years old. So, Average life of Japanese men and women are 81, 87 years old. Then scientists utilize this worm and, uh, worm and flies for aging research because they have much, much shorter lifespan, so they can do lots of experiments. So the result, their results show that anim these animals without IR even, no sensor animal, sh show decreased lifespan. So UPR is also important for aging. However, as I, as I already told you, these fly and worm do not have functional ATO6, unlike us. So we'd like to uh, study uh, aging in uh, using these small fishes, because it has functional ATO6. I give you an important background. These three sensors are expressed everywhere, expressed ubiquitously, 
But if you knock, make a knockout mass, knockout means no functional gene in the mice, they show different uh, tissue-specific phenotypes, defects. When m mice without IR even show, had a problem with the liver, and then mice die before birth. However, mice without sense of perk can be born, but would have a problem with pancreas, then they develop diabetes. Mouse without eight to six has a problem with notochord, uh, uh, organ, uh, just before, important organ before formation of bone, backbone. Then uh, die, mice die very early stages. So tissue uh, sensor reliance differs depending on the tissues. So we, we'd like to uh, ex examine which sensor, which pathway, which sensor is important or the blocking aging in which organ using the small fishes. Uh, because <coughs> mouse become pregnant every two, uh, two or three months, but small fish can lay eggs every, every day. That means we can do lots of uh, experiment to find the answer to these uh, questions. So, uh, I will go into the uh, analysis of mechanism of aging, and then uh, hopefully to get anti-aging therapy. This is a goal, not goal in 10 years, but a goal in 20 years to, to work on this. Here is a, uh, <coughs> Five major causes of death in the worldwide, Japan and uh, USA. Cancer is quite problematic. We, our organ needs oxygen and nutrient, which uh, they are, com they are support, supplied from blood flow. Cancer, this is also the case for cancer cells. Cancer cells need oxygen and nutrient, so they make uh, blood vessels. However, this uh, process called angiogenesis takes time. So at the beginning, uh, uh, they do not have enough blood vessel. That means they suffer from little oxygen and little nutrient. This condition creates aberrant protein, unfold protein, and uh, that triggers cell death. However, this uh, UPR can uh, solve this problem by uh, fixing the uh, um, aberrant protein. So UPR positive cell can grow this in noodle mice, but uh, UPR negative cell cannot grow in a noodle mice at all. After uh, creation of blood vessel, now ca uh, cancer cell can get oxygen and nutrient. However, DNA is often uh, frequently mutated in the cancer cells, as Peter already mentioned. That, uh, so again, same problem occurs. Little oxygen and little nutrient. That makes aberrant protein. But again, UPR fix this uh, problem. And then, so UPR positive patient uh, shows much worse uh, survival co compared with UPR negative patients. So now we would like to uh, obtain an UPR inhibitors, like a PETA obtained uh, PARC inhibitors, but we'd like to obtain another inhibitor, type of inhibitors. <clears throat> then we have done primary screening of 400,000 co compounds and then obtained uh, several candidates. So we hope uh, these chemicals would be in a clinical trial in 10 years. Because already many uh, uh, scientists, including Stanford Group, our many, many uh, companies already looked for this anti-cancer drug using UPR system, but not, there seems no success, nothing in a clinical trial. So we took different approach to get these inhibitors. We hope this uh, uh, give us uh, some uh, good chemical drugs. Thank you very much for your attention. Questions for Professor Mori? Yes, there in the left. Um, what, what happens if you introduce. Sorry. Where, where, where sounds come? 
Art. What, what happens if you introduce additional sensors into yeast or uh, worms, like from vertebrates? Uh, activation mechanism is very different. So uh, A to six, uh, uh, when A to six activates, it, it sits in the ear, but when it's activated, it goes to Golgi, another compartment. But probably yeast and uh, plasma do not have that kind of transport system. Probably uh, uh, introduced ACs will not be functional in worm and uh, fly, I believe. No, we, we don't work on uh, uh, worm and flies, so. Uh, there's another question there in the back. Um, could this approach of introducing inhibitors for UPR be used to treat neuro de neurodegenerative diseases that may be due to the accumulation of misfolded proteins, tau proteins of APP, such as Alzheimer's disease? But, uh, we we uh, first tried to block cancer growth. Then, uh, because some paper shows uh, IRE1 is uh, make atherosclerosis worse. So in, if our chemical can block uh, growth of cancer cells, we may be move on to the another type of disease, but it's later. We have to show this is safe drugs and effective drugs, then try another different diseases. We have time for another question. Okay, if no more questions, let's thank Dr. Mori again.